Okay, let's have a look at making some simple pads on each of them. Preset right. Here we go. Right, okay. So let's just do a simple two saw pad. Detune it slightly. Longer attack and release. Nice, very simple, uh, no effects uh, and uh, no slop. Let's do the same down here. So just trying to get the um the oscillators detuned similarly so you can hear the, the hit the beating of the oscillators um similar. That'll do. Okay, nice. I think they're quite similar actually. Um, one of the things that sold me on the Pro 8 was uh, this thing called Oscillator Slop. So you probably know what it is, but it basically it emulates um, um, vintage oscillators in that sort of goes out of tune and out of phase um, randomly, I suppose, to give it a, a more um, well, it gives it a warmer feel because each of the oscillators are sort of waving around a little bit, gives a bit of motion to the noise to the sound. So let's have a listen with it on zero, and now with it on full. Look, you know, it's it's a, there's a huge difference there, but. So, from off to on full. You can see it adds, it adds an awful lot of life to it, but I always wished this went up to 10. I wish I could just squeeze a little bit more out. It doesn't doesn't feel quite battered enough to me. It feels, you know, I'd rather it felt a little bit older and a little bit more worn and a, um, a little bit more... Yeah. A little bit more knackered, really. But. But here, we do have a, a slop that doesn't go up to 10. Goes up to 11, this one. Listen to this. So it goes so out of tune, it sounds like something off a horror movie. Yikes. <laughs> Baddie's going to get me. Um, beautiful. Um, around uh, 10 o'clock, it just sounds really, really lush to my ears. And I think at this point, the two synths are sort of moving apart. I think this is coming into its own. Although, you know, not, not huge differences, but... But 
for some to my ears anyway this sounds richer and deeper uh, you know you may disagree Much louder there. But one thing you can do with this is obviously um, throw in a chorus. Um, really simple effects on these. So you've got a choice of delays, chorus, phases, and some uh, reverbs on the other one. Um, you can add it to the mix. Um, so in this case, it's at 63%. Goes all the way up to oh, 6%. 63 out of 127, that's about 50 percent, isn't it? Um, and again, these this will be sort of rate and depth, I suppose. And each of them has something similar. So, um, let's hear it without, and let's hear it with. Beautiful. So let's face it, that's that's really unfair because this has now got a chorus uh, and a whole reverb. They're both going through my um, UAD Apollo, so I'll stick this through the Roland Dimension D and um, the Lexicon 224. Just give it a second. So here we go. Still, this one sounding nicer. Um, I don't think there's more hall on this. Maybe there is. Sounds richer, and I think this is the um, the filter coming into its own actually. Um. Turn all turn all this off to make sure we're not getting any. That's nice. So I, I think this does. Um, so when you think about this is what um about two thousand British pounds. Um and this is about fifteen hundred and now it's going to 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 make it sound like this, we're now sticking it through um a couple of UAD effects, which another few hundred dollars I suppose. And if it was a lexicon two to four and if it was a roll on dimension day, well you're looking at thousands and thousands, and yet it still doesn't sound quite as nice. As that. In fact, these are uh, <laughs> uh, just sort of sounds all a little bit housey all of a sudden. Let's um, take this down. This down. Give us a. All right now, this is great. I'll show you this unison um, button here. So I'll push the chord. So push the chord. Press unison. So very similar to the Juno two in that effect. But all of a sudden, we've got a little bit of house music going on. Um, in fact, the um, video I posted when I first got this, I realized I'd done a, a tune and it was using the Pro 8, the Pro 1, um, the Pro 6 and the Tempest. Um, so I'll, po I'll post a link to that. Um, but this was just me messing about. It wasn't showing off how brilliant the synth were. Just going, oh, look, I've you know done something simple. Um, but it happens to be using all Dave Smith, Dave Smith instruments.
again it's that instant gratification thing that you can get from this i mean you can do that on this but you just got to be able to play a bit better than i can let's You can be a lot sharper because if you, you know, you've got to be better at playing. So, and again, another um, ease of use thing with this. But um, I think from the pads' point of view, this does shine compared to this. But you know, as I get on to uh, explain about the sequences and stuff later, the sequencer com on this completely blows this one away. Um, hard to use, simple to use, uh -huh. same old story. But thanks for watching anyway. Um, coming up, um, we've got sequences.